So, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things golf, wing, and streetwear. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing a series on the channel called Style Evolution. In this series, we look at different fashion icons and just kind of explore how their style has changed over the years. If you guys are familiar, we kicked off this series about a month ago with none other than Tyler, the creator. And in this video, we're going to be looking at someone else who has been a huge inspiration to me fashion-wise, and that is Pharrell. I've just recently really started to get into Pharrell's fashion. I've always been a fan of his music, whether it be his producing, with the Neptunes or Nerd or some of his solo work. I've always been a huge fan of the music, but I know for me personally, I was kind of overlooking his impact on the fashion world for way too long. And I just recently got a newfound love for the early 2000s hip hop. So I was focusing a lot on you know, Pharrell and what he was doing in that era. And just kind of while I was in that pocket exploring with the early 2000s rap and stuff, I started to pay a lot of attention to what Pharrell was kind of wearing. And I definitely think I'm gonna take a lot of inspiration from this style with the spring and summer season that we have coming up. I thought it would be a ton of fun and that it made perfect sense to continue the series with him. And just like we did in the video with Tyler, we are going to be breaking this video up into the different eras of Pharrell's career. Now, if you all watched the Style Evolution video about Tyler, you know that we break each era up by his albums, but I think I'm gonna do things a little bit different with Pharrell. I'm gonna do three different eras of Pharrell's fashion, and they're pretty simple. It's just gonna be the late 90s and early 2000s, and we're gonna do the late 2000s and early 2010s, and then we're just gonna finish out with the current era. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the video kicking this off with the late 90s and early 2000s era. Now when I think of this era of Pharrell's fashion, there are two things that come to mind for me off top. The first thing that I immediately think about when I think of early 2000s Pharrell, trucker hats. I am a massive fan of trucker hats, obviously, and trucker hats have been making a huge comeback in the streetwear world recently, and I am so happy to see it because I think they're so cool. And in my opinion, at least for rap and like streetwear, Pharrell was one of the pioneers of making trucker hats cool. Because you gotta think really 90% of the time, I think trucker hats kind of live in two different worlds. The first world is, of course, like, you know, really country, like actual truckers, people who wear these style of hats more traditionally. And then the second world trucker hats kind of live in is the rap world, streetwear world. And I think one of the main reasons trucker hats are even popular with rap is because of Pharrell. Hands down, the most iconic trucker hat that he wore, at least to me, was the classic yellow nerd trucker. Pharrell was wearing this trucker hat a lot in this era. While I was doing research for this video and kind of looking at different pictures, you know, of Pharrell's different fits, like iconic fits that Pharrell was wearing around this time. In almost every single one, he was wearing a trucker hat, and most of the time, it was the yellow nerd trucker. I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar, but kind of in the earlier days of the channel, I had a bootleg version of this trucker hat that I wore all the time, but I ended up selling it. I think I wore that in like two or three videos, maybe, but that doesn't really reflect, you know, how much I was wearing that trucker hat, you know, outside of YouTube. I wore that hat almost every single day. I've been seeing early 2000s hip hop fashion make a pretty big comeback recently. And to be honest, I think the best representation of that is the trucker hat. And at least from my point of view, that is all thanks to Pharrell. The second thing that comes to mind for me is camo. I remember seeing Pharrell wearing a lot of camo around this time. And when I say camo, I don't mean that kind of like woodland hunter, like authentic looking style camo. I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. That kind of camo is really popular right now. But what I'm referencing is more of like those vape style camos where they're kind of cartoonish, sometimes colorful. It was not uncommon at all to see Pharrell wearing some camo cargo shorts or something like that around this time. But what I remember more than anything about Pharrell from this time period is just the classic zip up camo bait hoodies. And now me personally, I'm not a huge fan of bait or like that kind of cartoonish, really colorful style camo, but it was a huge part of Pharrell's wardrobe at that time and was really, really important to the hip hop landscape as a whole. So not only was Pharrell wearing a lot of bait, he also teamed up with Nigo, the founder of bait, to create his own streetwear brand, Billionaire Boys Club. And these pieces, of course, were even more of a representation of Pharrell's style at that time because you had the dynamic of Pharrell himself and the genius behind a lot of the iconic pieces Pharrell was wearing at that time just coming together. And the product was amazing. Billionaire Boys Club is one of the most iconic streetwear brands of all time, and rightfully so. Another thing that we can't overlook from Pharrell at this time was his jewelry. Pharrell's jewelry game around this time was just god tier. All the different nerd chains, Billionaire Boys Boys Club chains, the rings, the grills. It was just the bling era at its core and absolutely nobody did it better. The chains are of course the most iconic of Pharrell's jewelry at this time. People still talk about it to this day. I honestly think for me, some of the best jewelry in the game is like a back and forth between Tyler and Pharrell. I think the both of them have some of the best grills, the best chains, best necklaces, all that. Their jewelry is just crazy. And while Pharrell's jewelry is still really, really nice today, back in the early 2000s, 
it was just, it was untouchable. Pharrell just really embodies everything that I love about the early 2000s era of hip hop. And although I was technically alive for this era, I was really, really young, like a baby. So it didn't really have much like influence on me at the time. But I really, really wish I could go back in time and live this era in real life. Because everything he was doing with the Neptunes, Nerd, his fashion, Pharrell was just on a whole nother level. And I think experiencing that in real time would have been great. He was honestly just untouchable in this era. Now coming up next, we're going to be looking at the late 2000s to early 2010s. I would say easily this is Pharrell's most um, adventurous era of fashion. Now this is around the time where I was still pretty young, but I was getting to that age where I was really impressionable. And this is kind of when I started paying attention to Pharrell a little bit more and just kind of music and fashion just in general, really. One kind of iconic thing I will say, you know, from this era of Pharrell's fashion were his hats. Pharrell was kind of in a little pocket here where he was loving fedoras and stuff like that. I remember there being a lot of buzz around the time when he wore that really big fedora to the Grammys, I believe. And he wore these kind of like big fedora style hats. I'm sure there's like a specific name for this style of hat, but I just don't know it. So I'm just going to call it like a big fedora. But he was wearing these kind of style of hats a lot around this time. And I remember this being a big topic of discussion at that time. His style around this era is a lot more, you know, preppy. You have blazers, sweaters, button ups, kind of stuff like that. Not what we were really familiar with seeing Pharrell rock at the time. Not as many big flashy chains and stuff like that. Jewelry is a little bit more minimal. I remember seeing a lot of like bead style jewelry from this era, not a lot of the big flashy chains from the early 2000s. We see him trading out a lot of baggy fitting stuff for more slim traditional fitting pieces. A lot of his fits around this time gave me kind of a punk rock vibe where you had skinny jeans that were cuffed with some sort of leather shoes or boots maybe, tucked in t-shirt, maybe a leather jacket or something like that, which is kind of a far cry from what people were used to seeing Pharrell wearing at that time because his early fashion was very, very rap centered and people were just really used to seeing that. So I think when he came out with this preppy look mixed with a little bit of punk rock, it just kind of threw people off a little bit, but he was exploring a lot around this time. And I actually think that was really sick because it's stuff like that that really pushes the boundaries with fashion, with, you know, anything really, but especially with fashion is just people trying out new things. So I think this little era of Pharrell getting really adventurous with his style was really welcome and definitely pushed the boundaries with a lot of stuff in fashion. So although the particular style he was going with in this era never really caught on to like the masses or anything, I still think it was a really important moment for, you know, his style evolution, but really for fashion as a whole. And finishing out this video, we have the current era. The biggest thing about Pharrell's style nowadays is kind of minimalism in a way, but in a good way. We're still not seeing him really wear like big flashy chains or anything like that much anymore. Usually nowadays we see Pharrell wearing maybe like dad hat, some sort of hoodie, a pair of shorts. So this is definitely the most minimalist era of Pharrell's style just overall. The biggest thing that I see Pharrell wearing a lot of is a brand that I'm also a huge fan of, and that's Cactus Plant Flea Market. I became familiar with Cactus Plant Flea Market through Pharrell, actually. I only own one piece from the brand. It was from uh, 2018 Flognaw, where Cactus Plant did all the merch for Kids See Ghost. But that is a huge brand that I see him wearing a lot of recently, that and Human Made. I see him wearing a lot of that as well. I honestly see fashion as a whole taking a more minimalist approach moving forward, but he was really on the cutting edge of this kind of more minimalist style that we see bubbling up now, because I'm pretty sure he kind of started taking his style in this direction around like the peak of the logo mania era. That was like an awful time for fashion. But I think the way Pharrell is dressing now is really kind of the way we'll eventually see fashion as a whole go. Because you know, branding is still present, but it isn't the most important thing. You have a lot more that goes into it, namely the fit, the quality, the color palette. A lot more things go into it than just what brand you're wearing. And some slight branding on some pieces can really elevate it, but it does not make or break the fit. It's really looking like to me what Pharrell is looking at now more than anything is the color palette, is the fit of stuff. And I honestly think that's the future of fashion in general. And to be honest, I still think overall his style in this era is great and is a perfect minimalist, hope this is the right word, mature way to approach fashion. And although we kind of see it happening a little bit right now, but I really don't think it'll just be like a trend. I think this might one day become like the new normal. So I'm really, really happy to see that he's taking this direction with his style and I can't wait to see where he goes moving forward with it. But I'm pretty sure that will do it for this video, guys. Comment below and let me know if you like this video and if you would like to see more videos like this on the channel moving forward. I had a ton of fun filming it and I would love to hear what you all thought about it. Also comment below and let me know some of your favorite Pharrell outfits. I know a lot of my personal favorites came from the early 2000s era and that I'm loving a lot of what he's been doing recently, but I would love to hear what you guys think. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of golf and shoe content coming moving forward, but that'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking this out and I'll see you in the next one.